ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Santa Clara. Returning from his end zone is Ray Ray McLeod. And no alley to be found. The cover. Dropped at the 18. begins with a run by McCaffrey to the 22-yard line. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to that and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A game there of 30 big ones. All right, Charles, let me put you in the head of one of those defenders out there. You have a big play like that go against you so early. What Does that shake your confidence? It shouldn't, but it often does because your thought process wait, wait, all wait. during the week is how you're going to get after that offense and make your plays. And when they make one against you, Makes you a little bit hesitant. Time to regroup. Now a pass hauled in downfield. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. 33 yards that time. Execution was one of their watchwords leading up to this one. And on that play, able to execute brilliantly here on this opening drive. On first down, this is McCaffrey. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. Touchdown! Debo Samuel on the touchdown pass from Jimmy Garoppolo. And the 49ers will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. Well, they spoke about the importance of getting off to a good start, and they're on their first drive, Charles, into the end zone for the touchdown. And what an advantage for them. They're already clicking one drive in, didn't need to wait to get up to full speed. We had heard about the extra time they put in with each other, trying to learn each other's skills, what they liked, the whole deal, and it paid off early in this one. I would expect them to keep firing on the next drive and keep that connection going. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He finds his man complete. That's Watkins. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Miles Sanders, first carry of the game. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Throwing his hurts. Out route pass complete to Goddard. 
And some space here. And he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. 23 yards on the tuck and run. This early in the game, it's all about making steady progress downfield, hoping to lead to early points. And you can do it with your actual play calls or sometimes something a little more improvised as we just saw there. And they'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. Second down and goal. Hurts. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Not only did they drop what looked like an interception in the end zone, they blew a golden opportunity to shift the momentum. So third and goal, and the 49er faithful making some noise for their defense. They'll try to run with Sanders. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Miles Sanders taking it in from four yards out. And the Eagles respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. Well, they decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of times, that's a passing play. The kicker, this has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe a sigh of relief as well, right? Although, I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. So, they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Here we go. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play, second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, go, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. On second and seven, Garoppolo. His throw incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked ahead, it away. Go ahead, go ahead. Hey, alert! 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 Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. And this pass broken up. Well, the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. Partner, we've got ourselves a ball game. And those guys on defense, they came to play. Slipped up on their first series, but they're definitely settling in now and letting it be known that points won't come so easy again. It's Garoppolo. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And he is going to have the Niners first down as they manage to convert. And that will keep the drive alive. Seven, 7-7, seven, our score after one.
McCaffrey on the counter. He spins free. And across the midfield stripe into Eagle territory. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and get it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Garoppolo now, first down throw. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. No gain on the play. And it'll be second down. As a defense, you're more bounced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. To throw again on second down. Garoppolo. Looking for the out route. He's got it. Complete to Kittle. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. It's a gain of 34. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just saw receivers find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Second down and right back to McCaffrey. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Now, that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Here we go, here we go. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. That is caught by the tight end, Kittle. Touchdown, 49ers. A five-yard touchdown catch, and the Niners have taken the lead. Gold to have the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, and they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive, so we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product down there? It's a loss of four on the first down play. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on their early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. Throwing on second and 14. Hurts. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. 154 left on the clock here in quarter number two. On 
on first and ten. It's Hurts. That one complete down the field to Smith. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Hurts to throw. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid gain to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Hurt sets up to throw it. He's got Watkins on the out route. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Oh, the sneak, it's Hurts, and he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. Jalen Hurts keeping it himself on the quarterback sneak. And the Eagles are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. And a little time left on the clock, so on the other side, they're thinking, gosh, we'd like to get that lead right back. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Here I am <laughs> going ahead and tapping out the first half. Wow, but still time. Way. They've got to make a decision about what they want to do on the kickoff, whether they want to let their return guy touch it. Elliott Good with a PAT. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Here we go, here we go, here we go. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And they've got a little under 40 seconds to go if they want to try to put something together here. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. And San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll stop him with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Garoppolo on first down. Over the middle, that's complete to McCaffrey. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A gain of 32 that time. A lot of running backs in the passing game, they're just used to check it down to them or maybe dump off passes. But this guy, they use him to stretch the field, don't they? They stretched it right there, turned it into a really nice game. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Second and 10. Up the gut, McCaffrey, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. I'm getting the sense that Fletcher Cox is making offensive linemen want to take the week off when they have to play against him. <laughs> it's a regular routine for him, isn't it? It really is. That play there, that's him all day long. Good luck trying to block him and keep him from disrupting your offense. The kick by Gold is good, and they take a 17-14 lead. 
So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks have told us end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. And that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. But Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. He certainly did his best to find something on that run, but there just wasn't enough time to make it happen. Nice effort there, avoiding the sack and getting back to the line of scrimmage. That one certainly could have ended up worse. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Watkins. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll set up a throw. Again, that's Watkins. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that will bring up second down. Give running left, it's Sanders. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. 52 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. Right back to Sanders on first down. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game. Second and ten. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. It's Eric Armstead fighting his way through that time to record the sack. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. 
It appears they're going to come up empty on this first drive of the second half, still down by that slim margin. Yeah, and that's okay. You know, when, when you sit and they analyze it, they're not happy about what happened, having to go to the bench. But this gives them a chance to let their defense do some work while they on the sidelines go over what they're doing offensively and formulate a proper plan. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. And he's got his man. It's the tight end, Goddard. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. 21 yards there. A big play on fourth down. So after the big play on fourth, here's first and ten. They go back to the ground with Sanders. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. And that was a quality pull to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. To throw on second and six, Hurts. Over the middle, he's got Watkins. And he's going to get this down near the 25. They'll run it, Sanders. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Three quarters in the books. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Another run with Sanders. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork, and they add a little, little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. Running right, here's Sanders. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. Throwing on second and eight. Hurts. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. The Eagles on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and eight. Hurts. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. So the completion good for six yards. And that's going to make it fourth down. I thought they might take a shot down the field, okay, but instead ready. they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Wait, wait, wait. 
Going for it with Sanders. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Miles Sanders with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Eagles have taken a fourth quarter lead. So they only needed a couple of feet there on fourth down, but they got more than that and then some as he takes this into the end zone. And I love your description right there, right? Fourth and short. They got that, no problem. Let's go ahead and get the rest of it. Finish it off in the end zone, touchdown. Everyone goes away happy on that one. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. He really hasn't been able to get on track running the football, averaging less than four yards a carry. Yeah, I think that they're going to enjoy the film session because all the defenders are filling their proper gaps on just about every play. And you know what they always say for a defensive coach, when I click off this film, I better see 11 jerseys in the picture going after the ball carrier. From the 27, Garoppolo. Oh, he'll look downfield for Kittle. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. As expected, he's gone to him several times in this game, but that's the first time one has slipped from his grasp. I'll bet he goes back to him, though. He's an excellent player. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Garoppolo now. And yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get him off the field with a three and out. 21, 21. Two, two. Hey, John, John. Now Garoppolo, got to have this one. And try to get it to Samuel, but it's intercepted. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. So they go on fourth down. Not only do they not get it, it turns into six points the other way. Disastrous. And many people think you should just go ahead and knock it down in that situation. Turn it over for the offense. But I had a defensive coordinator recently tell me, we see that as a passive play. We don't do that anymore. We want the ball in our hands, and we want to head the other way. Probably also instinct a lot of times. If you see a lot of green grass ahead of you, go ahead and grab it. It's the exact right play to do. That's knowing when to break the rules and when to make a play that maybe you hadn't been taught. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Here we go, here we go. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. We'll see if they can band back together after the pick six. It hurt badly, but still within striking distance. A two-score game with a good chunk of time on the clock. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Here's 
Here's Garoppolo to throw. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Garoppolo to his tight end, Kittle, for a Niner first down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. McCaffrey running up the middle. And he's going to have a Niners first down as he'll get this up to about the 42. They held him in check in the first half, but that's his longest carry of the game right there. So would this be the definition of fresh legs since he didn't get much done in the first half? Now he has a great opportunity. He's taking full advantage of it. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Throwing again on second and 10. Garoppolo. And he finds Tyler Croft. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. One well, of the advantages of the defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. But the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it. Sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little here we go, bit. Here we go. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens in bounds. On second and 10, Garoppolo. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Now Garoppolo. And the grab by Croft. And he gets this early to the 44-yard line. Not near enough to keep the drive alive. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And that'll be just about all she wrote for this one. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And three timeouts remaining here defensively, but really not much reason to use them at this point as this one is all but over. If they use the timeouts here, it's strictly for show. We got a plane to catch. Now it looks like he'll throw here. And incomplete on the deep ball. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. To throw on second and ten. Hurts. And that is incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on the first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Throwing his hurts. And yeah, that will be incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back to back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts. This time on third down. The Eagles send out their punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. He gets us away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. 
That one sails out of bounds. The side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. Here we go, here we go. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They can't do much at this point, partner. This one is going to go down in the loss column. You don't make up for what has happened during the game in this sequence here. Maybe you hand it off and let someone run the ball of you if you so choose. But otherwise, just kneel down, call the day, and try to prepare going forward. 21, 21. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And they'll get him down here at the 23. So now with six seconds remaining, we get a timeout on the field. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Play action, Garoppolo. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game.